Sup, sup. <clears throat> I am back with Life is Strange. Um, I played a little bit of that other game the other day. I wasn't. I, I lost interest uh, halfway through, uh, so I'll have to get back into it. Maybe I'll replay that section. Um, but I'm ready to play some Life is Strange. I have a whole new episode, so this should be like at least two hours, I imagine. Um, this this playthrough. Um, but yeah kind of excited I'm, I'm i'm more i'm much more into the game at this point than i was in the beginning the beginning felt really um i guess loose there wasn't a lot of direction but now that i've got a kind of a direction in the game it feels it feels better so uh, yeah i hope you're all having a good day a great day and um i'm just gonna play some life is strange because that's what i do that's what a gamer does so I don't remember the last episode having an intro like this, but okay, cool. Well, I'm down. Works for me. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving.
It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out what. Ew! Thanks for the image, Nathan. And every. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. It's fucked up how no one cares until shit happens. You know? Especially. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Especially when it pertains to mental health. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. What's also kind of counterproductive is, you know, the individualism movement, the me, me, me movement of just thinking about thou do what thy wilt or whatever the fucking sat Satanist way of putting it is. When you're thinking of only about yourself, it's really hard to put in energy into other people and their and what's going on with their mental, emotional lives that they might need help with, you know? Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <sighs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. It's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Do they really need that crap on the door? So much hypocrite. This is pretty dark. Like, they made this a little bit too dark, in my opinion. 
like I like that little piano thing they got going on when you look at Kate's door and stuff but it feels just a little too dark. I don't know if I like it. I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Oh, you can't blame someone for this. But comforting her? Oh. Oh. I, I, I need to hold her accountable. But I can't just blame her. I'll have to comfort her. I don't want her to jump to. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Oh. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital. Yes! But Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? Okay. No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Bitch. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. So, I can go back to this. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Victoria sneaking out. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Nice. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. I'm glad I didn't Probably to hell. her or blame her. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. You know, you know what's funny is I just got done listening to a podcast that I thought was great. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time going through her shit. I thought it was great. Um, the content, the guys doing it, Michael. Frances, uh, let me get his name right. I, I want to disrespect this guy. Let me see here. Michael Franz, 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 Franzies. How do you say that? How do you pronounce? Let me see how to pronounce it. Pronouncenames.com Franzisi Franzisi, Michael Franzisi Franzisi Sorry, I don't No disrespect, <laughs> excuse me Michael Franzisi I better go meet up with Chloe Speaking about disrespect And uh, Chaz Palminteri The actor They have a podcast And they're talking about basically books about philosophy and society and 
culture and networking and business and being and navigating that as a male and how males have created a compendium of knowledge throughout time of of formulas of formulas of how to do things and there is a even though we have more knowledge in the world there's a loss of that and that is such a good it's such a good podcast because one of the themes and I feel like it's going to be a running theme excuse me throughout the podcast is is it better to be loved or to be hated you know the um who said let's see who is that just from the godfather did someone else say it first Oh, feared than loved. Yeah, Machiavelli, okay. Of course. Of course, of course. Okay, so they go over things like this. Like, uh... He's a political theorist. I don't know if all of them would be considered uh, political theorists in that sense. But that's good, because you know what? The distaste for politics is a shame. People are always like, I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to, you know, let's not discuss politics. Let's not discuss our differences, basically. In a, in a, uh, uh, because politics, depending on, I suppose, the culture and land you're from and the type of politics that your people adhere to, is just a formula to exchange and to argue ideas and to, and to come to formal conclusions on how to govern and how to um, best find, I guess, success and joy and camaraderie and peace between one another and I'm bringing it up and I love and I love this I love this is why I stream um, because it gives me a chance to analyze things and bring things together and to hopefully elevate what I'm playing by adding another layer to it because that's really what um, you know when you bypass like copyright by doing something by like creating commentary on a subject matter to further um, analyze it or educate people on something say someone takes the movie Lawrence or of Arabia and they use it to historically discuss, you know, the British and um, those wars, those Arabic wars or whatever you want to call them, <clears throat> and um, the life of Lawrence, Sir Lawrence, and um, p- people will make YouTube videos of that and they'll say this is accurate this isn't accurate or they'll discuss some more about the period or about this person that was in the background of the movie that you may not have noticed as much but he's actually a, you know they'll do things to further elaborate on the subject matter and elevate it so hopefully that's part of this because what i just witnessed here was part of that dichotomy of would you rather be loved or feared do you want to appease people's feelings, basically, or do you want to bypass them 
and and I and I suppose or I don't suppose I know that there's different levels of that you can be super aggressive super passive and then everywhere in between in, in both those settings and so what I found here by going back in time I had enough information almost like the art of war you know almost like the art of war where you're gaining information about your subject so that you're going into the battle um, with a high advantage over your opponent even if that's just a conversation you know even if that's just talking about what's the best chocolate or not sounding uh, stupid at a at a wine tasting event you know so, you know something it could be something arbitrary but whatever it is um, I think that's the that's that's the in between because there's there there was a point in the conversation where they were talking about yeah better be loved or hated but then there's also the component of being so highly revered and respected that you it's it's not necessarily like it's it's it falls into the category of love but it's almost super it's almost above it where someone's confidence and competence and um I suppose charisma those those things and maybe more combined create a personality that is so respected and revered that people would automatically follow them and and trust in them because they prove via results but are able to maintain a neutral ground where they don't they're not looking for your approval or your love and they are not um, seeking to strike fear or dominance it's simply that they retain a high position because of their degree of execution and planning and success rate I suppose which uh, you know creates that trust factor so yeah so uh, th that's what I just saw here I saw either do I appease her emotions decline them will, will I make her love me or fear me you know um, because if I were to accuse her I'm sure that would that's that's falls into fear um, very subconsciously of how I killed this person oh my god you know which is horrible but then I found the middle ground where it's um, I saw this girl leave I saw her leave so she's looking at me and like holy shit this chick is on her game like nothing gets past her she knew about like my mom yada yada like she is on her game like I want to trust her with this information not because she's making me feel like uh, not she's not love bombing me or or seeking my approval oh, and she's not dominating me or making me scared she's simply exuding a confidence and a competence that um, automatically makes the human mind go let me follow this person you know and that was that was a subject within the podcast and I think that's so brilliant that um, that knowledge so it's a very good podcast it's called it's called the wise and the wise guy by uh, Michael Franzesi <clears throat> excuse me and Chaz Palm Palmineri Palminetti I'm sorry <laughs> I'm gonna get back to my game
Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. <sighs> Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's Secret, she's a geek. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. Nothing to see here. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Hey, Max? Come here. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. 
I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Dana clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so... giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now.
Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 